A creepy encounter for a local boy walking home from school pursued by a stranger. Now, the boy is fine tonight, thanks in part to his quick thinking and the aid of a nearby worker. Jenny, you spoke to the boy and his dad. Yes, we did, Jason, and it was certainly a scary interaction. But as you mentioned, that quick thinking can now serve as a lesson to other children. Like shaking at first. 10-year-old Sammy Green of Pottstown describing a scary, creepy encounter with a stranger during a walk home from school on Friday afternoon. She was like, I'm going to Wawa. Do you want to come with me? Are you going to Wawa? What are you getting? Sammy says the woman followed him for a couple of blocks on High Street. She asked him where his family was. The smart, quick-thinking fourth grader executed a getaway plan, ducking into a store, asking the clerk for help. So he came in and he was really panicked. The interaction was captured on Danny B. Funky's store surveillance. And he like whispers and he's like, this lady's been following me like on my way home from school. Like, can, like, can you help me basically? He tells me, he's like, oh, um, um, like pretend you're my mom. Like pretend you're my mom. Then you can see the woman walked away. I was fine until I saw that video. And then when I see my son walk over to, to Hannah and whisper to her, then I broke down, you know, that's when everything hit me. Really scary, really scary. Mm -hmm. But he handled it very well. I'm so proud of him. How did you think of that plan so quickly? I, it just came to my mind. Sammy's dad says they've discussed stranger danger a lot, focusing on this very scenario. They're regular customers at Danny B. Funky's, but now they say it's more than a store. They're family. He was so thankful. He was like, thank you so much. I'm so glad that you were smart enough to come here and come somewhere that you felt safe. Everyone is certainly relieved to hear that there was a safe ending to this story. Pottstown police say they have identified the woman involved in this incident. She is homeless, and they are referring her for mental health services. Back to you, Jason. All right, Jenny Joyce, thank you for telling us that story tonight.